Hello and welcome to Josiah is Right. So today I'm going to take a look at what I actually got for my birthday. Judy, my wife, took me to a place here in Orange County over in Huntington Beach called Kelly's Toy Stop. So be sure to check them out. Great stuff. And they offered me a great deal on my birthday present, which was in March. So I'm way behind on this. I'm not sure when I'll post it. It's like basically Father's Day almost when I'm recording this. So yeah. this is the box I for see my hand. yeah, your hands inside the box for Exo Squad Marsala. So. Open That's where the too. action figure was originally. So it wasn't new in the box, but it's amazing that it came with the box. But before we get to this, let's take a quick one minute history of ExoSquad. ExoSquad was first conceived by creator Jeff Siegel in 1989. ExoSquad had a significant influence from executive producer Will Minio. The harsh climates of Venus and Mars were tamed by genetically engineered super labor force called Neosapiens. The series itself begins with the entire fleet gone. Phaeton, a Neosapien leader, engages in a successful revolt. The conflict for the vast majority of the show's 52 brilliant episodes is the battle to get those home worlds back. The Exo Squad toys were produced over six series from 1993 to 1996. The toys centered around the E frame. Each E frame came with a three inch pilot. Later series include micro lines, jump troops, those freaky genetically engineered Neo Sapiens, weird stealth or water or transforming or animal V frames, and eventually even Robotech. And the stakes were very real. Maybe a little too real, as the series ended after only two seasons. The war against the Neo Sapiens had actually been resolved, and the series featured a vague new alien threat. Rumors suggested that that threat was actually from the Robotech universe. There was talk of spin-offs or sequels, nothing ever came of So that was Exo Squad yeah. in one minute. And if you liked that video, yeah. be sure to check out the original version, which is really? almost at feature length. It's full length, it's about five minutes or so, right? So check that out. And if you like Exo Squad, hopefully you'll enjoy the history. But this uh -huh. box is amazing. Uh, it was really dusty, but it's, it's, it, I don't know, it just, I've never had a box other than one of the original ones I uh, had. So, and it came with the, the blueprints are inside there. The back you can see all the awesomeness of the line so i now yeah, have yeah you wish you had the pilot i do i wish i had the pilot we'll get to that in a minute though pen um so i now have from the original line everything except general shiva so that's the other like two-seater for the bad guys there that's like the side by side so, so the that's pilot. the last one i need so yeah so let's actually show the toy so that's the box which you could admire there's that's a pilot too. yeah that's uh nara he, burns who is the co-pilot does he has headphones on yeah, they have this thing that like plugs into their head. So let's take a look at the E-frame itself. We'll also cut to some close-ups yeah, and stuff. It. We can open so, it up. Yeah, so him, so his purple legs. Yeah, that's Marsala. So he's a Neo-Sapien and in yeah, the, they yeah. fight this war against the humans, but he stays with the side of the humans because he thinks the Neo-Sapiens are kind of, Bending their brain. cause is good. It's like, you know, Magneto Professor X kind of. So this, you can see, folds up this control panel. So you what have two for? seats here, one for him and one for Nara Burns, who has... Yeah. She's a girl. She's a girl, and she comes with her own E-frame, which wasn't part of Wave 1, which hopefully I get eventually. Daddy, you want to send just, in the noise? Yeah, I just want the figure for there. So let's... Pretty cool. So everything worked. The original batteries were in here, so I didn't change the batteries. This thing uh, shoots kind of successfully. Yeah. There is, I think everything is here except for when I looked at it after the fact, there's a piece here. So this leg has a like a shield type of piece and this leg is missing and it's like damaged when it comes off. It's kind of cool that it has those little kind of details or at least you see wires if not damage. But uh, that piece is missing. Everything else I think is here. I did never had the original. I haven't like analyzed it in terms of that. Dad, it has two yellow missiles and also came with a black. So when I bought this, there was two of these. One was in the one was with the box. One was without. So basically, they helped me. The guy there. Dad, before you had, I think before you had this, you had these toys, and then you had this one. That's right. After. These toys I had first, and this toy I just got more recently. And so, but the cool thing is, there's a black missile as well. So he gave me that extra missile because so the, the one I, it, it basically it let me pick which one I thought was the the, the the better. Don't put it so close to the camera. Basically, let me pick which one. I thought was the better of the E-frames and then w the box would come with that one and plus some of the extra pieces and so I got that extra black missile and we were able to take off because like this E-frame looked had better like the stickers were better on this one uh so but I had to take off like uh some of these side panels or something or like one of the missiles so it was cool to get the best possible version like this was definitely I think maybe even broken off 
and under this there's like a like a cardboard piece under this little disc thing that wasn't even there on that other one and i think the gun was missing or something maybe this whole pack was missing but it was still a cool find but this is definitely the complete version this yeah. is super cool to have. Yeah. I do need to check the battery compartment because those batteries were the original, so there might be corrosion, but they work just fine. <laughs> but I know. It's cool to have this one because as a kid, this was the more expensive one. Yeah. So I didn't buy this one because I would buy a smaller one and I bought, you know, a good guy and a bad guy. I ended up with that all four of the normal size E-frames from the first line. Be sure to check out my video I did with Paul where we talk about it in depth and I show my toys and a little version version of Penny might show up in that. It was a few years ago, but I'm happy to have this in my collection. If, if there's any collection set that I want to complete, it's definitely Exo Squad, particularly the first Dad. two waves or so. Manny, what do you have to say? Thanks? Thanks. Anything else? I see. See, it's just, it's just that this gem is so beautiful. It is a beautiful gem. It goes right well with this, right? Yeah. Why you like the gem on there? There's a gem on here? <laughs> oh, it's kind of the same color, like a purple. It, it, it's a... Like a purple it, color. Yeah, it's not a white violet. Mm-hmm. Violet, yes. Bye. Bye.